Cotopaxi has a started eruption, and this is in the country of the Ecuador, the country which is on the equator of the planet Earth, where there is heat, 12 days of the sunshine, and every day some rain. And some of this rain changes at the height to snow. You don't expect in the at the equator of the planet Earth you see snow, but this volcano is around 5,000 meters high, 5 kilometers. That means when it erupts, the magma has actually traveled 5 kilometers vertically toward the sky, and that then can reach the atmosphere of the Earth, erupt in that sense. This needs a lot of power, and this is because of the subduction of the Pacific Plate under the uh, South American plate. This is not the only volcano. We have a lot of volcanoes, including Shimbozo and uh, Sanga and El Altar. These are the very high volcanoes. All of them are snow-capped. All of them, at a certain time, all of them are about the temperature of the year. There's one or two of them are at the Every day we look through the Quito, which is the, or Quito, the capital of the Ecuador, we see this scene of this erupting, bubbling volcano. Mostly water, as you can see, is uh, practically white steam is coming out of it. It's melting the ice and the snow. And uh, as you also know, this kind of steam and snow can eventually lead to what we call as lahar. Lahar is a mixture of the ash and the water creating a mud which flows through these innocent streams eventually. We had this in Colombia when the Nova del Rose in 1985 erupted. Let's hope that this Cotopaxi will not start to create lahars.